Thank you to Astapro and Liquid IV for sponsoring us. More on them after the reaction. Citizens of the Reject Nation, it's me, Tara Erickson, alongside... Andrew. Flash. Gordon. Ah, I got to do the Flash part. That's you fun. You got it. You guys, we're watching Insurgent today. Thank you so much for watching us watch Divergent. And now we're watching Insurgent. They did a little word thing there. I get it. You get it. Okay. Now make sure that you guys like this. You got to get in there. You got to leave a comment. Tell us how cool we are. And also don't forget to ring the bell. Ring the bell. Also, thanks to Prepper for helping us edit down these videos. We super appreciate you. And if you haven't gotten over to Patreon, you need to like do it because we call you super sexy over there. And you get to watch the whole sync up, like the whole thing. We're going to watch the whole thing. You can watch it with us on Patreon. Also, Greg and John offer exclusive highlights and watch alongs over there on Patreon. So get sexy if you know what's good for you. Andrew, how are you today? I'm doing so well. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. And uh, also, too, guys, uh, make sure you check out these shirts. Yeah. RejectNationShop.com if you want to look as cool as Tara, myself, and all the other members on Reject Nation and uh, on the team here. So check it out. Help support us as well. Should we watch? Let's do it. I'm so okay. excited. I, I really enjoyed that first one. Yeah, me too. I can't wait. Let's get into it. Peace. Long ago, before the founders established this great city of ours, that word was all but meaningless. Huh. Now, 200 years later, we are all of us living proof that peace is indeed attainable. Yeah. Erudite, dauntless, amity, candor, abnegation. We've created a society in which each faction plays a critical role in maintaining the social order. But this harmony we've achieved is now under attack from a small but extremely dangerous group of individuals. Uh. The Divergence. Divergence. Yeah, baby. Yes, you really believe in peace. Why don't you tell the people what you tried doing at the end of the last movie? Yeah. Five days ago, a road group of Divergence... Oh, it's only five days ago. Okay, so we really are still here. Yeah, it's not too far removed. Yeah, and also to him, Jai Courtney and Mackay Pfeiffer, they weren't under the serum mind control. Right. These latest rumors, for example, that I was somehow behind the attack on abnegation. Oh, girl, don't even lie. You know you were. <laughs> Liar. You can tell he's aged a little, though, in real life, Jay Courtney. Mm. Tell Janine we got it. We are all that is left of you. Damn. The vast oh. wall that enclosed. Oof, that faction. Ugh, Jesus. But it is up to us to confront any element that could poison us from. Oh, I think that was the zip line building. Ugh. And it is up to all of us to take a stand against its one true enemy, Divergent. Oh, girl. So twisted. Boy, literally starting on the run. Yeah. Visually and metaphorically speaking. <laughs> I love it because I was so excited to get past that wall in the first one right, just to see, right. and now we get to. Isn't that where the farmers, right? I think that, so, yeah. yeah. Which we didn't really get to see too much of them in the- No, we really only saw a clip of them in the beginning, I yeah. think, the last one. Amity, that's right. I think as a Jaws fan, I'd remember their name. <laughs> You're like the most wanted person right now. Yeah, I wonder if they're like updated. You have to leave. You just don't belong here. Huh. It's all her fault. You killed Will. It was mind control. Oh. What? Oh. Okay. You killed us all. Jeez. Ah. Oh. Trauma she's got to live with now. PTSD is yeah. not a good thing, you guys. Oh, whoa. Are those people in those hammocks? Yes, I okay. believe so. Okay. Would you trust at that height? Uh, I don't no, know. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> One is very low. Just because I move around a lot when I sleep, I'd just be yeah, afraid. Yeah, I'd, I'd roll fall. right out of that yeah. thing. Okay, this is a nice little sweet little setup, little farmland setup. We cutting our hair. Oh, do 
We oh. get to see it on camera. I like her hair right now. Though. Yeah, but she's a divergent now. She's got to show it. There we go, girl. Oh, God. That was such a great Oh, scene. the acting. Yeah, it was phenomenal. And can you imagine that, too? We talked about in the first film. Losing both parents within an hour oh, or God. two of each other. Oh, terrible. Eesh. Oh, so they're just like part of Amity. Amity? Yeah, it seems that way. Yeah. Oh. He's so cute. Yeah, this is adorable. This is me when I'm with my nephew. Three, <laughs> three hours later, like, okay, time to get off. No. <laughs> I just wanted to do something different. Yeah. No, it's definitely different. Nah. <laughs> you don't like it? No, I like it. I'm just surprised at all. She's still really hot. Yeah, she's <laughs> gorgeous. You still having nightmares? No. Trying to act strong. We're good, you and me. I know nothing else is but we are. His father came with them at the end too, right? He escaped with them, I believe. Yes. So I wonder if he's... If he's there. I, I, he's got to be. I mean, where else is there to go? How much longer do we have to stay here for? Until we know it's safe to leave. They're so cute. Nobody can stand them. Nah. Get out of here. They are adorable. Again, that was one of my favorite things in the first film was their chemistry. And yes, they have their, such their good interactions. chemistry. Yeah, it was really organic and it grounded the film. And I bet you they dated in real life for like a month. Oh, did they? No, oh. I'm, I'm saying I bet you they did. Oh. And then they were like, OK, we're off set. We got to move on with our real lives now. Hey, son. Oh, there. That answers that. <laughs> you can't ignore me forever. All right, Dad, here's my belt. I know you're thinking about your next move, but there are things you don't know. Your mother didn't come back to abnegation just to save you. She died trying to hide something from Janine, something that was entrusted to abnegation a long Marcus, time stop. Oh, he doesn't even call him Dad. <laughs> I'm not the enemy here. I mean, wonder if that's going to have to be an arc for him, is to have to, is for, or a theme in this film is forgiveness. Yeah, they're going to have to get that information that he was just about to spew. You found it. What was she hiding? It was in the home of Natalie and Andrew Breyer, like you said. Now Tris is going to have to get that back. You mind telling me what's inside? A message from the founders that will ensure the future our people deserve. Like how she speaks in code. Divergence will destroy our society unless we destroy them. And now we can. Only a divergent can open this box. Mm. Find them. Every last one of them. Again, okay, she, okay. she really does a good job playing a villain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which I'm not used to seeing, but. Yeah, cool set. I mean, I know I said Dauntless, but Amity is looking like pretty prime time right now. Oh, uh, Dauntless? I'd be too scared. I mean, I'm not a daredevil, so. Go with happiness. Uh, huh. That might be a little much. Don't know how much longer I can do this whole I'd peace and love thing. I'd <laughs> still rather be peace and love thing over Dauntless. Dauntless is, I mean, I'd have a heart attack. Okay, here we go. You look a rainbow. Oh, it's pretty. Uh. <laughs> Virtual pathological friendliness with unquestioned pacifism. I love this place. Uh, Thank you. Go with happiness. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Tris, I really like your hair, by the way. Did you try to cut it all short and weird? His sarcastic, cynical side works perfect so with these great. people. <laughs> Besides, I think we should all stick together now that we're all officially fugitives. Maybe we mean officially fugitives. Oh, uh, you don't know. Yeah. Yeah, so now Janine is saying that the attack on abnegation was orchestrated by a group of renegade divergents. So they're blaming this whole thing on us? Yeah. Mm. She needed a reason to petition the council to institute martial law. Now she has one. I like Peter now. I hope he doesn't take the opportunist route and try to... Right. Just because of how scummy he was in the first film. We need to keep an ear to the ground, find out where the rest of the Dauntless are, then we can make a move. We need to kill Janine. <sighs> yeah, girl. Straight to the point. I know. We're not ready yet. We need an army. <laughs> Beatrice, you, you're not being serious, right? No, I am being serious. You know how many people she wiped out? She's evil. Chris, I think you should go to Erudite and kill Janine yourself. I'll stay with Caleb so that you don't get him killed too. What? Come on, you know, like you did your parents. Ugh, why is he still a jerk? Ooh. Cool shot. Whoa! Yes, girl. Damn. What are you doing? Peter, you're still a dick. What is your problem, man? Was I not clear that the terms of your sanctuary here included nonviolence? Well, I can guarantee you nothing like this will ever happen again. Well, be that as it may, you can no longer stay here with us. Oh, 
The truth is that our sanctuary was never gonna last very long here anyways, with you not standing up to Janine. One day she's gonna show up, and Janine is gonna take whatever power you think you have away from Trish, you. Trish, I understand both sides' arguments. I need to find out where the rest of the Donalds are, then we can leave. And then what? Attack erudite? I will not be a party to violence. And no one's asking you to. We just need a few more days. One more chance. See, to be Amity is to forgive. See? Hmm. Said forgiveness is going to be a theme. Others and yourself. You're hurting, Tris. You called it. It was a kind of an obvious <laughs> <laughs> Killing Janine is not going to bring your mother back. I know you're angry, but you're letting it consume you. I agree, but it might be good for all the other factions if she at least takes her down. Mm -hmm. Not saying has to kill, but oh boy, problem arises. Uh, damn. Yeah, rude. Dude, we don't even have another day to prepare. It's like, oh my god. Stay here and keep quiet. Oh my goodness, why? They just ran over all the crops that they probably eat. No respect. We're looking for Divergent. New screening technology from Erudite. Amity. Now that Janine's heading up the council, the approval process just got a little easier. What happened to that Amity politeness? The easy way or the hard way? It's up to you. <sighs> They're upstairs. But under protest. Okay, we're good to go. Move it out. This is draconian. <laughs> I guess it's a good thing Peter was being a dick now. Yeah. You seem awfully stuck in that doorway. <laughs> Well, here we go. We need to move now. Come on. What's up there? Just my office. Saved by the horse. MVP. We need to split up. Okay, yeah. Every man for themselves. Good. Hey, they're up here! Oh, see? Oh, I... my God. Eric, they're up here. Come on, they're getting away. I, kn I had a oh, feeling he was going to do that. Get him. Yes. That annoys Give him me because he, that dauntless he had, juice. He had such a good arc in the last film, and that that annoys me. Over there! I demand amnesty. Get down now! I'm the leader of the I thought they said they needed him alive. No. That's a cool drone tracking shot. Seeing these actors running together reminds me of The Gentleman, which he is in 17 when she was pregnant. She had an ABC show called like 17 and Pregnant and then Baby Driver. Mm. <laughs> That's what I keep thinking in my head. Whoa. All right. He, he's got like some Tom Cruise running juice in him. I was going to say, almost felt like that the, was a good run. I know he was in Terminator Genesis. Whoa, almost whoa, had the whoa. T-1000. Nice. Did I miss it or did they not say they need them alive to open that box? When they were in the dome, that reader read Divergent, so they have some in the dome that they captured, but... Oh, okay. I don't know. Nice, girl. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> Jeez! Oh, man! That's close. That was fun. <laughs> Oh. He's got a good shot. He's yeah. shooting through the train and getting pretty close. Come on, guys. Nice. Go, 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 go. Push him. Oh, my him. God. Don't lose your brother. And Okay, good. Yeah, she's had I enough. Was like, she's had, she's enough, had enough death in the last week, right? Oh. It's like, yeah? What is it? Oh, you folks sure know how to make an entrance. Huh? Oh, the, these are abnegation fabric bolts, and, and you're factionless, right? I, I used to be abnegation. We used to use those those same bolts to, to make clothes for you. You're saying that we're stealing from you. No, you, you're not stealing at all. I mean, maybe you <laughs> Same. That's I mean, enough. Everybody relax, all right? You made your point. Got you. We'll just, everybody just relax, okay? Why don't we, uh, take a seat? Oh, oh. Oh. Everybody just calm down, all right? She gonna Ooh. Nice. Get it, girl. Ah. Throw some guys off the tray. Oh. Oh, nice. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
Yeah, baby. Ah. Still feeling that arm one. Oof. Oh. Come oh, on, damn. Caleb. Do something. Yeah, but the problem is he's he was erudite. He's I know. not he's not trained in Abigation combat. Abigation turned erudite. He doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> oh, hey. There you go. You nice got job. some instincts. Way to go, Caleb. Good job, buddy. Oh. Whoa. Hey, they asked to just come in peace, but you guys yeah. didn't want that. Now it's like his soul has been stained as loss of innocence, kind of. No! Oh. Shoot. Caleb, help your sister. Caleb, <laughs> wake up. Oh my God, Caleb. Grab the pole that you just dropped and hit him over the head. I, Sir? I agree. I, I agree with you, but I think he's just like... And still in shock He's that he just ended, ended someone's life. But he needs no, no, to no, wake I, up. I, I agree with you. I'm just, I'm just putting myself in his shoes. But I agree with you. Ooh, nice. There are so many that they didn't kill. Tobias Eaton. Well, you know him. I am him. We have been looking for you. Why didn't he just start with that? <laughs> I like how all is now forgiven after all the <laughs> members of the faction list. They just yeah, killed. Yeah, <laughs> that moved on rather quickly. Yeah, good resolve. <laughs> just because you're who we've been looking for, apparently. It's like, sir, just tell us who you were earlier. Why are they looking for you? How do they know your name? Did he used to be factionless and he crawled his way back in? Well, I mean, his dad was the head of uh, ab abnegation and was the ruler, but maybe I, I guess we're going to find out. <laughs> It's interesting to get this look into Factionless because obviously yeah. we just only heard and seen a little glimpse. Same thing with Amity. Kind of like it. It's kind of got like a Star Wars esque yeah. vibe. No, no this uh, movie's doing like a good job. Yeah, this movie's doing a good job of expanding the lore of all the other uh, universes yeah. or factions. Factions, yeah. Or Factionless, <laughs> too. Yeah. Liking the score, too. Oh, Naomi I Watts. love her. Right. What? Naomi Watts, yeah. Tobias. Not is mom, mom, is it? I bet. Mother. She's pretty. No. He's pretty. Hey. Of course, it's his mama. <laughs> I thought she was dead. Me too. We just got twists and turns all around. Tobias's father was very abusive. I knew the only way I could ever truly escape him would be to disappear completely. Abnegation helped me fake my death. Mm. Anything to protect Marcus's image. But you just left him there alone with Marcus. I reached out to him about a year ago. I felt it was finally time to reconnect. <laughs> I'm still your mother. No, my mother's dead. Ooh. She wants an army. It's about putting an end to a system that says one group is more deserving than another. This city may be surrounded by a wall, but it doesn't have to be a prison. I mean, the faction system isn't perfect, but it's hardly a prison. Area die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You willing to kill Janine? Absolutely. Sign me up. We can't trust her. She knows we're on the same side, Triss. I'm factionless because I don't fit into any one faction. And you're divergent because you belong to too many. It's an interesting contrast. My people are ready for war if that's what it takes. And then what? We depose those in power. And once you've done that. Do you take power? Once you've killed Janine, who's in yeah. power then? That's a good question. See, that's the part that she always conveniently leaves out. Don't you tell me this isn't about you. What is it? Thank you for your hospitality, but we'll be leaving in the morning. Or maybe this is the morning. Tobias, please reconsider. That scared me. <laughs> My name's Four. Okay, Four. Understandable. He's got abandonment issues and doesn't like to trust her. You want to tuck him in or should I? <laughs> ha ha. Yeah, that kind of scared me, too. Uh, you jumped, Andrew. So did I, but internally. This meal looks lovely. Thank you. Interesting. Would you stay there and eat? Yeah. I don't know if I uh, would. <laughs> interesting that he called her mother, and he called his father Marcus. Yeah. I should have told you about her. You had your reasons. No more secrets, okay? Skip to a lot more secrets. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to wake you. I always loved watching him sleep. Yeah, but he's with his girlfriend, so <laughs> yeah. it's kind of awkward. This, and this is a little creepy. I take it you're setting out for candor in the morning. Talk her out of it. But deep down, I think you're scared. I know all too well. 
You're scared he'll finally see you for what you really are. Deadly. Ask him. What? Oh. Was that was that Will? It's hard to tell because it was a quick cut. It was her friend Will she killed, right? I think so. I figured that was a dream she was having because I'm like, how oh, is he not waking up from right. this conversation? Must be a very heavy sleeper. Because <laughs> I would have woken up once the conversation started personally. But that's just me. I'm a very light sleeper. Anything you really got to drug me to get that. If somebody comes up and lays on the bed, starts talking, I'm up. You better believe it. But yeah, in the back of my head, I'm like, this must be a dream. Yeah. How do they make sets like this? This is so aggressive. Yeah. I'm not coming with you guys. Uh, what? It stained him too much. What happened? You guys are going to find the rest of Donald Stenwood. what? You attack, erudite, assassinate Janine, start a civil war. I'm sorry. I'm just not, I'm not cut out for that. You're right. You're not. But what are you going to do? I need to go back to abnegation. Sort out what our parents left behind. At least I'm be useful there. There is no abnegation. Coop, there's nothing it's... left in abnegation. I get what he's saying, but there is no abnegation. You're being hunted. Maybe there's a small, there has to be a small part of all the groups that are left, right? Hope you're right. I just thought like whatever was left went with I know. Them. Yeah, it looks unpromising. Because I thought they were all hiding with her dad in the that little. Right. Yeah, exactly. Warehouse wherever they're. None of this is your fault. Joanna was right. You have to forgive yourself. Thank you. I, I couldn't tell that she was from an acting or facial expression. I couldn't tell that she blamed herself for her brother leaving personally. I don't know right. about you. No. I didn't I, feel it in that moment, but that no. was just me. I don't know. But I feel like that's either a writing or a director thing, but I mean, not blaming her, but I yeah. didn't feel it in that moment that she felt guilt. No, I agree. Yeah. It wasn't clear. Damn, is it good to see you guys. How are you, right? I'm better now. I'm not hey. Hey. That's Wally West and Flash. They can just come out in public right now? I guess. Have you heard anything about Will? Yeah. How many dollars do we have? 175. Rest follow with Max. Hold it! Grab your guns. They're with us. We know who you are. Last warning. Drop your guns. You're both wanted. Unfortunately, given the circumstances, I'm obliged to hand you over to the council. Janine believes that Ari and I are most fit to govern because they are the smartest. Do you believe that Candor is most fit to judge because you're so honest? I do hold that belief. Then would you say that a trial held here at Candor would be inherently more fair than a trial held by Ari mm. Is that the plan? Good <laughs> point, four. So are you asking me to petition the council to grant Candor sole judiciary power? No. That was part of Candor's initiation. You administer a truth serum, correct? Oh. Yes. We possess such a serum. And use it on us. Because we're telling the truth. Ooh, okay, so this is now a good plan. Okay, I like this. Originally, I was like, what? But you should know that the serum can be quite brutal. Don't want to do this. We have to. Neither of us have secrets worth dying for. Mm. Yeah, because before the truth serum thing, I was like, what is the plan here? May the truth set you free. This I'd would, be like, this, nah, I think I'm going to skip it. Yeah, this would be an interesting thing if we had in real life now. Um, yeah, I For would, court cases, people like, would... Nope. All your dirty little secrets out into the world? Right. You were accused of conspiring with your fellow Dauntless in the attack on abnegation. I was in a simulation controlled by Janine and the rest of the Dauntless that she recruited. Tris found me. She managed to break me free from the simulation and together we fought our way out. Mm. So you're saying that Janine orchestrated this attack? Yes. This is dangerous information to have. If you suspected that Janine had corrupted Dauntless, why didn't you just leave? I wanted to leave. But I fell in love. But I fell in love with Tris Pryor. <laughs> Did you write the script? And I couldn't leave her. Thank you for your candor. Oh, thank you for your candor. Thank you for your candor. <sighs> oh, but she killed. Yeah. Oh, Will. Yeah. There, she's about to find out she killed Will. But again, he was under mind control. It was self-defense. Yeah, I know. Well, let's see how it comes out. Can't be mad at her for that. Well, I mean, I guess she didn't tell her the truth earlier, but it's like, it's a hard thing to tell. But yeah, for sure, she's going to find out about it. Mr. Eaton said you managed to free him from the sim. Yes. How? So you were never under the simulation yourself? No. How is that possible? I'm a divergent. Because I'm divergent. So you never harmed any of your fellow Dauntless or the abnegation? <laughs> <laughs> my mom, I watched her die first, and then my dad... They were killed trying to save me. Miss Pryor, the more you resist, the more painful the serum will be. <laughs> I killed my friend. He was trying to shoot me, and I, I shot him first. I killed Will. 
happen to people when they get close to me. They get hurt when they die. I can't forgive myself. Thank you for your candor. Oh, jeez. The divergence vitals are dropping. If we don't pull her out of the sim soon, we'll lose her. You'll stop when I say so? She's gonna do it. Uh, I don't think so. She's gonna die. No! Oh! Yep. Divergent test subject six is no longer viable. Jeez. I think you need Triss. You went too far, Kate. I've been assuming that all divergents are the same. Assign all non-essential personnel to the divergent detail. We need to look harder. We need to find that very special one. The one that's starring in this movie. I'm just afraid for Candor with that information <laughs> they shared. Yeah. Because uh, Janine's not one to just let people have information like that. Right. Where's your scary boyfriend? Probably off doing scary boyfriend things. I know it sounds crazy, but sometimes I think I see lights out beyond the wall. We can't be the only ones left, can we? What? Uh, uh oh. What? 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 This is what ah. I was saying. I, I, I fear for Candor. <laughs> Whoa. I'm so conv I thought she just said we want her. Oh. oh. Dang it. He was doing so well. Whoa. That oh, reminds those? me of Dark The Dark Knight. Knight. I was thinking, right? And they were in Chicago for that, too, in the dark night. Oh! Yes! Axe! Oh, I wanted her to use it as a weapon. Oh, Dang. that didn't last okay. very long. That was a little too easy. <laughs> ah! Dang. Oh, my goodness. Oh, did she oh. get shot? Yep. I think so. Or she just... Fake she might acting? be playing dead, but I think she did get shot in the back or on the shoulder, which wouldn't be a death shot. Door's clear. Moving down. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, if they were smarter, they would make sure to put one more bullet in her head. Jesus. Wow. <laughs> okay, she did. Shoulder. Ugh. Oh, weird. What kind of bullet is that? Mommy, mommy. Oh. Look, I got one too. It's just the thing that made everybody go to sleep. Need you go to the top of those stairs up there and don't come down until your mommy comes to get you. So this is just like a put like to a sleep timed, thing. Yeah, sleep serum thing. I would assume because Kate Winslet specifically said we need her. So I mean, yeah. I, I don't think it's a shoot to to kill. We need weaponry. Nice. Oh, but I don't think she has the codes to get in there. Why are we the only ones awake? Because we're divergent. Oh, right. That's why it didn't work. I should have went there in my brain. Look who decided to show up. Oh. Where's Tobias? Divergent. 10%. Mm. Shoot him. You're almost normal. That's boring. That is not part of the mission. Let's just wrap this up quickly. The others are going to be awake soon. Swear, do not hurt that little girl. Divergent. 40%. I'm afraid it's not you either. The lady said I shouldn't have come downstairs. I guess you should have listened. <laughs> Enough. Janine told us that we have to test everyone. <laughs> Divergent, 100%. I'll be damned. Jesus. Get her in a vehicle. I'll alert your name. If you think you got lucky, you're wrong. I think she already knows she's not lucky at this moment. Oh. Huh. There's four. Wait, is it? Oh, yeah. It's hard to tell. <laughs> Tara's got better eyes than me, apparently. That's lucky you got that gun for. Now we both know you're never much without one. Oh, all right. Oh, oh! Showdown. That was a quick fight. You're responsible for the death of hundreds of people. You know the punishment for that. I found a way to live with the blood on my hands. What can you? Ooh, oh. Later, Eric. Okay, four. Getting down to business. Thank you. I had no idea Janine was capable of something like this. 
<laughs> it's time we fight back. We don't have the numbers. We will, once we get to factionless. And mother. I was going to say, all the factions should just gang up against her. Yeah. Janine. Tris Pryor. It's a hardcore looking group. Of course. It had to be her. The one who seared me up last film. Janine, can I just say that it is truly an honor to finally meet you in person? <laughs> Ever the opportunist. Why did you surrender to Erudite? I would like a position in your regime. Prove your worth to us. Let's talk about your friend, Tris Pryor. How do I flush her out? The girl's a walking, bleeding heart. She was born out of negation. That's her weak spot. You just have to know how to press it. Go, please. Coming from up there. Christina! Yeah, human life is so valuable to her. The traitor, Tris Pryor, must be surrendered to Erudite. Or every day, more death will follow. Ah. Oh, boy. Those things that they shot yep. in the... Ah. Oh no, not her friend. No, no, no. Maybe four will catch Christina. Uh, but also, okay, good, good, good. Oh. Ah. Oh. No yeah. catch in that one. Christina. <laughs> That's one way to wake up out of a trance. Thank God. Oh. Oh, that's a great shot. They they like really helped her up there. Oh yeah. <laughs> that was a great shot. Yeah. How do they can they get those things out of everyone or I don't know. Picking it out without them bleeding to death. She's gonna just give herself in now at this point. After you see that, you're well, yeah. like, I can't fight this. I have to It's a very sophisticated sim serum injector. It also has a radio transmitter in its head. Jeez. How do we get them out? You don't. This tech was built to defend itself. This tendril wraps around the nearest major artery. Whoa. Try to remove them and they kill Oh. Them. Okay, so wow. there's no getting it out. Okay. So what do we do? Tori has to find a way to neutralize the discs before we do anything else. Or we could do the logical thing. Hand over trust. Maybe. And we hand her over. Nobody knows about this alliance. We have to protect that advantage. If we hand Triss over now, it might buy us some time. Yeah, but if you hand her over, they still have control over you. I think it's a good idea. Except you'll have to go through me first. Ooh. Me too. Hey. <laughs> She's gonna say, no, I'll give myself up. I mean, the stakes have just really risen now. I can't let anyone else die because of me. No one else is gonna die because of me. Tori's gonna find a way to disable the disc. And if she doesn't? And if she doesn't, we figure it out together. I'm just one person. You're more of a Shailene Woodley is such a good crier. She is a cry on cue. Just thinking about that. Okay, are they going to do it right now? Then we I find mean, out like could, she's pregnant. This could be her last night, possibly. So, makes sense. Yep, there you go. Yeah, for Ter sure. Tara wrote the script, so she, she knows everything. I have a feeling like she might get pregnant, and then we would have another divergent. I would assume that sim injection probably doesn't work, I would assume, right, on a divergent? Right. That's what they were saying. That's okay. why it doesn't work on them. Okay. Right. Well, I know it didn't put them to sleep. I just figure it's not going to control them either. Right. Right, because we saw in the first movie also the whole mind-controlled thing, too, yeah, didn't work on them as well. Yeah. Yep. Makes sense. Otherwise, I would just control her to walk probably over to them, or her, rather. She's got too much of a moral compass, and too much of a heart to let anyone die for her. Off she goes. It is up to us, every one of us, to remain vigilant in identifying and isolating any potential threat to our stability. I understand what she's doing, but I would have liked if they came up with some kind of a plan. Right. I mean, they're obviously going to go. Well, yeah, they're going to obviously. Her, yeah, of but course. Like, I. I do agree of like, I'm going to turn myself in and then yeah. here's what we're going to do. Yeah, some some but strategy of some kind. I guess they're... Soon I'll be presenting what I believe to be no less than a mandate. On this will, I have no doubt. Validate the measures I am taking to keep the peace. And we thought Aerodite was such a nice place at the beginning of the first film. Yeah. Huh. All the smart people turned into a-holes. That's a nice way of saying evil. <laughs> Where are you going? She's gone. When? Yeah, last night. 
<laughs> nice act, mother. Tobias, people look to you for leadership. You can't just abandon them. Like you abandoned me? Tobias! I mean, dude's committed to her. You got to give him that. Yeah. But I would, again, probably go in there with a plan. Cause yeah. You, I mean, just, just get... take take all of them with you. But they, they have to. They'll probably follow him. I mean, I knew that you were dumb, but I didn't think that you were dumb enough to actually come down here. I'm hoping he turns on Janine. Yeah. We'll, we'll see. I don't know with him. It just goes to show that you can take the girl out of abnegation, but you can't take the abnegation out of the girl. Let's go. Once a stiff, always a stiff, right? God, he's such, such a, a punk. But he does it well. It's interesting, too, because they're really close friends in real life. <laughs> the only way to open that box is to pass the sims of all five factions. Oh, interesting. But the only people that have tried to do it so far have died. No pressure. Remarkable chances of it being you, of all people. It's remarkable as the amount of people you've managed to murder. Dark times call for extreme measures. You keep telling yourself that, Janine. You may find it hard to believe, but I am serving the greater good. Step up on the disc, please. Why can't we all just live in peace? Well, I think Janine's idea of peace is uh, not what we think. Everybody to. dead except <laughs> yeah. her. Yeah. Social order. Step up on the disc, please. Oh! Okay. Ooh. Oh, he's worthless to me. You can do what you want, Tim. I don't care. Oh, stop <laughs> the suicides or I swear I will shoot him. I don't care. You can kill him if you want. We have plenty of guards. <laughs> what? Now he'll turn. He's got to find a way to... Yeah. To help her. You mean after, after the way he was just treated? Yeah, for sure. I could see that. I think she might even tell him, like, I knew she wasn't going to kill you. Loss of life is not an option for her. Although she did kill Will. I'm guessing you need to be alive for this to work. Hooray! Oh my god. Beatrice? No! Caleb! Oh, snap. Don't engage the subject. What are you doing? Went back to Erudite. Couldn't help himself. Dude, they are responsible for your parents' deaths. And so many other murders. Abnegation. Wow, Caleb. Took the easy route. Survival. If I do this, the suicides stop. The suicides will continue until you succeed and pass all five sins. Yeah. I, even if she succeeds, I still wouldn't trust her. But, I mean, I don't know what choice she has now. I mean, it's also, like, it doesn't look great for Kate to have her brother in the room as if he may not flip again to help his sister. <laughs> Interesting. Ugh. That's a Mission Impossible stuff. Oh, it kind of feels Ugh. a little. Ma it kind of feels a little Matrixy. Oh yeah. Oh hey. Been here, done that. <laughs> wow, that looks like a video game. Like uh, that's a very cool set. Glad they got uh, Ashley Judd and Tony Goldwyn back to at least little. Yeah. Okay. What are the tools? Oh. Whoa, that looks insane. Ah. Oof. Oh. This is yeah. It's. I mean, we should kind of like. The Matrix, the mind believes. Yeah. Actually happens in the real world. Oh. Okay. Nice stunt there. I mean, there's no way. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Impressive. All right, here we go, Dauntless. This is quite a visual. Yeah, it really is. Oh boy. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! Nice! 
Nice. Hang on, Mom. Oh. Oh, boy. That was intense. Did it. Dauntless. Sin complete. One down. Four to go. Oh. I guess in the sim, she's getting some closure. Yeah. I feel like the brother might as well in seeing it. I miss you so much, but I'm still with you. Yeah, you're right. She is a good crier. Yeah, I mean, that girl, you just tell her, cry, and she goes, okay. You need to be strong now. You're brave. I'm not brave, Mom. I'm really, really scared. I never wanted any of this. You and Dad and Caleb and then four. Now I can't help but think that if I was normal, we would all still be together. Mm. <laughs> Candor, sim complete. Oh. What? Whoa. Whoa! Awesome shot. Yeah. You're here. You're here. Is this part of the sim or is this really happening? I don't know. I can't figure it out yet. Secure the hallway. I thought he came alone. <laughs> Stop. Let me go. Wait, you're not going to shoot me? You're not worth it. Once a stiff, always a stiff. Ah. Okay. I think this might be real. It's a banging score. Four, how did you get past security? You know me, scary boyfriend skills. What is it? You weren't there. Yeah, he, he didn't hear that. She never said that to his face. I'm sorry I didn't tell you that I was going to go. I wanted to say goodbye and I just didn't know how. So even though I didn't get to say it in real life, at least I get to say it now, even if it is just in a sim. Oh, I had nothing. <laughs> Don't you think I'd know if I was in a sim? You're not in a sim. I am. You are the sim. Mm. Yeah, because I was like, didn't he go alone? <laughs> That's why I was confused. Wow, that's a very cool visual. Yeah, it's almost like Voldemort. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Thanos, I guess, too. Erudite sim complete. There's only Amity now. She hasn't passed abnegation yet. Yes, she has. When she spared your life. Ah. She's tested positive for four factions in one day. No one's gotten that far. I might keep her alive. Keep her as your little robot. She's crashing. We have to arrest her. Nope. Sure you're not letting familial attachment cloud your judgment? See for yourself. Very well. Yeah, you can't risk killing her. Detach the subject. Wow. That's shocking from Kate Winslet's character, Janine. But she but she needs her so much, so. Yeah. But yeah, he's definitely going to turn on her, especially after how she's like, oh, you could just kill him. I don't care. Or I'd be shocked if that doesn't happen. Yeah. Because they kind of set it up. Parents would be ashamed of you. Well, maybe not. I mean, I am willing to sacrifice you, the only family I have left, the only person I love, in order to preserve what's best for everyone else. What's more selfless than that? Selfish. You are living proof that the diversion problem has grown beyond all control. Janine murdered an entire faction, Caleb. That faction could no longer be trusted. She killed our parents. Our parents brought that on themselves. <sighs> All right, family reunion's over. It's time to go. I got a little surprise for you, Tris. Is it four? What? Oh. No! No! Uh, ow. Uh, tell me, do you appreciate irony? <laughs> irony? Right now you're filled with hate, but you need to pass an Amity Sim. Uh, that's a good point. Forgiveness. Guilt free. Natalie Pryor not only died trying to protect the data that I now have in my her. possession. You killed her for data it! Data that she so selfishly withheld, but her own daughter is going to be the one to deliver it to I you. I said stop! Therefore, just like your boyfriend's death will mean absolutely nothing. What? Oh. Here. Sim? Uh. Yeah. Out to Amity? I don't know. It's like an Inception esque shot. Whoa! Wow, <laughs> it's insane. Uh, what? 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 
Oof. Ugh. Ah. Oh. Bring her back. Test subject seven is no longer viable. We'll just have to resume our search. Find solace in your faction, Caleb. We're your family now. Janine wanted me to show you this. What? <laughs> she is the one. Hey, four. Maybe do that thing you do. Hey. There we go, Peter. Yeah. Back on the right side, baby. First, I swiped a paralytic from the infirmary, and I shot her up when she was all freaking out about you. I mean, I told these guys I was pretty smart. I guess they should listen. That's twice I've been able to call what he was gonna do. Mm, yeah. You're real. And real attractive. The box. We have to get the box. It's not what Janine thinks it is. I know it's not. My mother would have destroyed it. We have to get it. Okay. Off we go. Peter, is there another way into the lab? I mean, I'd have to go into the control room to disable all the doors. Okay, good. Then do that. You just chose our side whether you meant to or not. If you want to survive? Make sure we do. Uh, good luck, Peter. Remember. No guns. Don't draw too much attention. Hey. Hold up. <laughs> Ooh. Access denied. Access granted. All right, let's go. Good job, Peter. Nice. Is that it? Yes. All right, grab it. Let's go. Is it kind of stuck? Like stuck on there. Show her. Tori finally found a way to get him out safely. Yes. Nice. That little boy actor looks so familiar. Seeing Krampus and uh, Chef. I could be wrong, but I think. Might be? I don't know. My mom died protecting whatever's inside of this. I have to open it for her and I think I know how. Chris, if we don't leave now, we're not going to get out of here. I have to do this first. I know it doesn't make any sense, but you have to trust me, please. Do they have time to do this? <laughs> All right. Let's hope she believes in Go, irony girl. now. You're an even bigger fool than your mother. Say whatever you want to me, Janine, but I'm not going to fight you. How very amity of you. I mean it. I'm not going to fight you. Love and forgiveness. You're gonna fight her. Christina? The one you really hate. Oh. Herself. Like how it's like you see the light and the dark version of her. That's yeah. Which, that was really cool. I'm you, Tris. I'm the real you. <laughs> uh. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. Ah. Oh, okay. Uh, hurry up, Triss. Come on. No one's gonna love you, Triss. And no one ever forgive you for what you've done. You're wrong. Yes, I, forgive. I forgive myself. Oh, no. Uh. She passed. All right, what's inside that box, baby? What's in the box? Hello. I come from outside the wall. Mm. We designed your city as an experiment, and we created factions to ensure peace. We believe there will be those among you who will transcend these factions. These will be the divergent. They are the true purpose of this experiment. <laughs> The time has come for you to emerge from your isolation and rejoin us. We've allowed you to believe that you're the last of us, but you're not. Wow. Oh my God, that's a quite a Holy reveal. Holy tamale. Mankind waits for you with hope beyond the wall. Oh, damn, I was not expecting that. <laughs> Me neither. You were wrong. We were never the problem. We are the solution. Bury the box. What? No! Faction Les and Mother come through. Oh, Janine. Are they sisters? Impressive. I think we're gonna like it here. Almost feels like they are. Maybe not. I don't know. Do you honestly think the other factions will step? Because you're so popular? It. Get her out of here. When that message gets out, it'll be the end. And it's hard to stand up for your brother right now. Yeah. And he's willing to sacrifice you. What message? You'll see. 
I can put it on every monitor in the city. Hey. All right. And we created factions to ensure peace. The time has come to emerge from your isolation and rejoin us. Thank you for your candor. If you're watching this now, then at least one of you is proof that our experiment has succeeded. This is a very elaborate experiment here. Yeah. <laughs> With hope beyond the wall. I'm curious what the third movie is going to be like, huh. because wait, we don't have to live in factions and life is... Right. And okay. I'm just wondering, like, all the factions really haven't changed. All that really changed was just the proof that the diversions are very much needed. Like, they unlocked and gave them hope, but how? How did they do that for all the factions? Um, you ready? Okay. We're going beyond the wall. Into the world we go. That's a cool shot. I'm liking this. Where do we get to the actual mankind part, though? Because it still looks like utter poop. Oh, beyond that wall. Yeah. Got it. It's been over 200 years. Are they sisters? I don't know. Who knows what's out there? You'll never find uh -oh. out. Bye bye. Whoa. All right. Ha <laughs> ha. Sephora was right about his mama wanting power. She just got it. No loose ends, right? All right, Reject Nation. So today I want to share something with you that has been a wonderful addition to my health and fitness journey that I discovered during the holidays, and that is Liquid IV's hydration multiplier. I'm down to my very last packet, and I'm freaking out, but it's okay. I got more in the mail. Now, a lot of you have been so kind to notice how I've been working on my physical health. Thank you for all the compliments. And one thing I learned is that proper hydration is absolutely crucial, especially post-workout and pre-filming after post-workout. And my wife actually introduced me to this product, which is perfect because because we not only care about quality, but a good taste and quality product. Whether it's after a sweaty workout or just after, you know, a good night out, you know what I'm saying? Efficient hydration and replenishing electrolytes is key. You just feel better and it tastes fantastic. I can't emphasize that enough. Another thing that I'm always on the lookout for too is products that have zero sugar or zero sugar added because that's one of my main dietary restrictions throughout the week. And they of course got products that fit that description that also taste good too. So yes, thank you so much. So Liquid IV's hydration multiplier is in summary is they are a non-GMO electrolyte drink that delivers hydration into your bloodstream faster and more efficient than water alone. Because sometimes drinking a whole gallon is not always efficient, but in fact, it can provide the same hydration as drinking two to three bottles of water. I'm also a big on efficiency. Plus, it's packed with a lot of essential vitamins, and we know vitamins are good for the body. It's vegan, soy free, gluten free, and dairy free. You can customize the water amount to your taste. Again, perfect for post night recovery, traveling, or just having a big night out. You know what I mean? No, I won't. So, if you want to boost your support for the channel and boost your hydration game, go to liquidiv.com and use promo code REJECTS at checkout. That's liquidiv.com, promo code REJECTS. And remember, Liquid IV, it's not a real IV, but it sure feels like it. So stay hydrated, stay healthy, and let's keep crushing those health and fitness goals together in the year 2024. Shout out to Astapro for sponsoring us. So some fun facts about me. I've been seeing an ENT the past couple of months. Got a CT scan done for my allergies, and right now I'm trying to find time to get deviated septum surgery. So like many of you, I am someone who's tried pretty much every nasal spray you can think of because I have difficulty breathing through my nose, which leads to day-to-day -day and sleeping problems on a consistent basis. So before agreeing to this, I wanted to try them out myself because this is a serious thing I deal with. They provided me with free samples. This is my second bottle. This is without a doubt the best nasal spray I have ever used. That's not some talking point. That's my very own personal testimony. Genuinely for me, it's fantastic and lives up to how it's advertised. It's the fastest 24 hour over the counter solution available. It gets to work in just 30 minutes while other sprays take hours to kick in. It's also the only one out there that's steroid free for 24 hour relief. Astapro has seriously changed the game for me, offering full prescription strength relief from nasal congestion, runny nose, and sneezing. The difference this makes is phenomenal. It's kind of insane how this relief to my breathing and nostrils just kicks in and I'm back in action really fast. So if you're like me, battling with nasal allergies and looking for relief, get fast acting nasal allergy or symptom relief with Astapro. Go to astaproallergy.com for a discount so you can Astapro and go. It's faster with Astapro, bro. I saw that commercial. <laughs> Astapro, it's faster, bro. That's A-S-T-E-P-R-O allergy.com. Remember, use as directed for relief of nasal congestion, runny nose, sneezing, and itchy nose due to allergies. Thank you again, Astapro, sincerely. Oh, Neil Berger stayed on as an EP for the film. Didn't oh, direct it. Oh, he did? Yeah, okay. he didn't direct it. 
I mean, you could feel it definitely was directed a little bit different than the first yes, film. Yes, definitely um, a different vibe. Yeah. By the way, if you are listening to us on Apple or Spotify, if you don't mind giving us a ring, we would so appreciate it. Give um, us some five stars, yeah, baby. Yeah. I still really enjoyed this one. I, I, I Like I was saying during the reaction, I think it expanded the lore of just the universe itself. Um uh, just like also to getting into Amity, uh, the factionless. I liked going into that. Uh, I did like the themes of, uh, again, like we mentioned earlier, of forgiveness and, um, you know, guilt. I thought they, they did a good job with that. Um, I did feel one thing was a little bit, and maybe they'll go into it in the third film again, not having seen it. But I thought it was a little underdeveloped with um, uh, Tobias and his father and mother like they mm-hmm. definitely got into it right but I feel like it again I know there's a third film but at least when it comes to this standalone film I thought it was a little underdeveloped and not resolved the whole forgiveness theme in terms of like a resolve to that storyline yeah but maybe that happens in the third film I don't know and if it does then I'm not gonna have I guess as much of an issue but as a standalone I would have liked a little more of a personally a little more of a resolve yeah. but uh, overall uh, I, I still really enjoyed this film um, did a lot of great stuff uh, I, just the whole mission of like unlocking this box and then the reveal of what uh, the, the message yeah. in the box was uh, that was quite a twist uh, I mean obviously there were a couple other things in the film that were a little bit formulaic and generic in terms of being a little predictable but yeah. again I was so invested in the world and the characters that it didn't bother me uh, yeah but, but um the the twist with the whole message then uh, was so captivating personally for me I was like okay I was not expecting that but it was satisfying enough that uh it, it relieved me of some of the other predictable stuff uh, that we did go through in terms of like uh, Peter's character and a couple other things but uh yeah overall I thought it was good and some great action sequences and other things but uh, what'd you think of the film yeah I think you have a good point in saying that we were so wrapped up in the story that there's some things that just like let it slide um I, it was funny to see uh, Four's dad at the end. Like, he was fine. But don't y'all remember he took a shot for him in the beginning of this film? Um, and that was weird just to see him, like, it, there was no bullet. This is a very small thing on my part. This is just me being, like, observant. But also, even at the end of with Four's, like, bullet wound of him getting hurt, it just didn't seem very realistic. Like, no one was... Yeah feeling that but other than that those are just the two things right at the end of the film that i was like that's weird why aren't we why aren't we living in that (laughs) a little bit gunshot wound sir (laughs) a little bit more and also why isn't dad hurt because he did take a bullet for his son that's what his son saw he either took a bullet or he got hit by the gun i don't remember it was at the very beginning maybe he just got hit it was one of the two i don't remember yeah and so he's still alive got it i think overall with this film i love the way it looked like the the sequences that they did especially with like the bodies falling apart and like with that building on fire flying through the sky i mean a lot of this just really really grabbed my attention with the way that it looked Um, And I thought that was really awesome. Uh, Obviously, Shailene and Four have great, great chemistry, which I I love and adore. Yeah. But there are there were some things that we could it was it wasn't as exciting as the first one. And I think that's because there were some twists. And once there were the couple in there, that was fun. Um, and obviously the action sequences, awesome. Tons of fun. Once they get into the juice, like heck yeah. But other than that, I felt like uh, even playing with Kate Winslet's character, the villain, it didn't seem as threatening as it did in the first film to me as in the second film, it kind of felt a little played out. Like we have seen it before, Mm -hmm. even though I was still very much enjoying myself. So don't get me wrong. I still really like this movie. I wasn't like, Oh my God, I'm so bored. Like it wasn't a boring movie. There's just some parts of it that didn't grab my attention as much as the first one. And I think it may just be that, um, yeah, a different director. I don't think there was a totally different tone. The characters stuck to kind of who they, who they were from, from the beginning. Um, but I think in the way that maybe some of it was delivered, it seemed a little like we were following the very atypical, uh, tropes of like, here's a sequel. This thing happens now. Then this thing, then this thing, I 
I don't know why I didn't feel um, that underlying intensity like I did that's, with the first that's, one. That's a fair point. And I think to your point, I, which I agree with, I mean, the first one you had the whole mind control thing and then they were, they literally annihilated a whole faction yeah. in abnegation or most of it. Uh, if not, uh, you know, if I'd say like a good 80, 85%, if not more. But, um, and in this one, you had that interesting thing with uh, those, those things that they shot in them. And then it was like a sim injection or whatever. They showed it one time. And then it kind of like kind went, of went away, away. away, went away. I was like, wait, why didn't you go back? I, I understand there's that fear of being r- repetitive, right. but I would have liked to. Okay, you have this thing. It's now we've got some stakes, right? Let's you let's know, see it live. Yeah, let's live through yeah, that like, for a second. Yeah, you can use that as a as a, I mean, you already used it as a threatening manner to get Tris to come to you, but yeah, we can at least still have that as a like you said, add some intensity because yeah. now it's like when it's completely gone away from like wait, I don't feel it anymore. Like, yeah, they make a mention. Oh, we got it out. I'm like, oh yeah, that's a thing now. It's, it was never looming or felt like I never felt it anymore because we got completely away from it. So I right. still enjoyed Kate Winslet's performance yeah, yeah. and she, like you still feel, you know, from her that intensity, but just like the looming threat overall, like it just, I agree with you. That wasn't as apparent. Um, yeah. Also, too, we were talking about expanding, you know, the lore from uh, the faction list and Naomi Watts. I thought she was uh, great uh, yeah. as well. And uh, we talked about Amity. I thought, too, Candor. That was interesting as well. Just seeing like how they deal with, you know, you do the truth serum and the whole trial is like very direct and quick. Yeah. You know, th- there's no lying, obviously. And then obviously, if you're holding it in, you're going to feel pain. But it's very quick uh, and seamless once you get the truth out. OK. Courts adjourned kind of thing. Thank you for your candor. I thought, again, just expanding the lore of all the factions. I, I like that this film really got into the nitty gritty of all the factions. And yeah. uh, I appreciated that. I agree. I think like, honestly, and now thinking about it, I think it was really maybe the pacing for me. The first movie felt like the pacing was like, was really we good. were off and we were going. And yeah. the pacing was like, we're on it. And even though this movie moved around a lot, like to the different factions and, and getting the truth out of her, a lot of it was like, I was like, oh yeah, of course she has to confess that she is going to kill Will. And then how's it going to, how's she going to make it up to Christina and does Will Ford still love her will they go out of here together yeah. and of course Kate is still going to be after them um I I always forget her to, I just keep calling her Kate because she's good believe, old Kate right? Winslet Janine um that Janine is still going to be after them going after them kind of like you know in in the old plot but I think um this one even though it jumped around a lot I feel like the pacing might have been just a little bit slower I didn't feel as much on the edge of my seat as I did with the first one Although I really loved how it looked, all the acting, great job. Yeah. I didn't, there was, in the first one, there was a couple emotional moments. And uh, y'all, I'm on Prozac now, so I don't cry as easily, okay? Because long COVID effed a bitch up. So, uh, but in the first one, I think I would have cried, <laughs> to be honest. And that one was a little bit more emotional. This one, not so much. We didn't really hit those points. Um, there, was although, one, there was one time I did, I believe I cried in this one. I forgot which scene it was, but there was one one scene in this set of yeah. that got me. I just yeah. can't remember which scene. I've got meds flowing through my body. Not a lot of them, <laughs> but they do just enough to where they're like, oh, I don't think tears. Now I know which scene. It was with the scene Kate? with, uh, no, 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 it was with um, uh, Tris where she didn't want to let out that it was Will that she had. Uh, that she killed. That she killed in, oh, at the yeah. Candor Court. And she was in pain. Yeah, and she was yeah. in pain, but also too because she wanted, uh, she didn't want to tell uh Christina yeah and it was you know and I understandably so yeah. and again he was under mind injection and again yeah. uh you know which I, I was kind of mad that she didn't say that in the candor I know that for the sake of the movie but like I wanted her to say that you mean just right away to Christina without the truth serum to say like he was under he mind was serum. going even though she said he was going to shoot me first then he was going to shoot well, me I, I mean, shot him first you would have thought too like because Christina was under the same yeah. mind uh you know serum it's like hey she you guys were under mind serum but I mean again uh, Tris values human life and she felt guilty so yeah. I can understand her apprehension she was afraid she was going to lose her friend and it, I mean it's it's a human trait I understand where she was coming from I agree with you but I, I, at the same point too I understand like her apprehension to want to say that and lose her friend and I guess it was easier just to deflect for her and yeah but and there's still and, a lot of un, like unanswered stuff you know with the brother going away I mean he's still alive um, and uh just, I'm curious to see 
what happens in the actual real world. Because still for me, the question is, even though it took a divergent to open that box, why was the mom hiding it when the message was just like, we needed a divergent to break through this, to give us the truth. And now this experiment was all for the divergence. Okay, so now all of these factions were simply there to like suss out the divergence to get to that box, to that system. But why? How does that help mankind and humanity? That's still the question that I really want answered that I assume, obviously, in the next one, we will have that answered. I hope so. Yeah. I'm just wondering why all of that just to get the divergence to open that box and why would mom be guarding that maybe because she knew that her daughter was a divergent. She didn't want to go back to real life. Right. So like if she knew that the daughter could open the box, I mean, I I have like some ideas on it, Mm -hmm. but I would love to know why all of this for that, for just sussing out the divergence. That's a great question. I'm hoping, I know that there was supposed to be four uh, films, but they only made three or because there's four books, but they only made three. Hopefully in the third film they answer that question because yeah, that is a I good question. So. Like why would she guard this? So no, I'm that's a, very curious. That's a very that's a very good question. But uh, yeah, overall I still I really enjoyed it. Yeah, uh, me enjoyed too. it. Uh, I s- probably like the first one a little bit more mm-hmm. though. Um, overall, but again, just a, a good continuation of the story, expanding the lore. Um, like I said, my only uh, issues were apparently gunshot wounds, at least for the main characters, were not uh, as big of a deal. Yeah. Um, well, at least for four, but which is fine. I don't want anything to happen to him, but I think just from grounding just the it, reality just the gra- of it. grounding reality, just like maybe just have his arm limping little, down a little or something yeah. like maybe act like pain. And also, too, there was that one moment. Um, just uh, again, just in the negative, uh, slight negatives. I thought the scene was just directed weirdly, um, where uh, after uh, Caleb had f- left, mm-hmm. um, and then you know he said, "Don't feel guilty about Caleb leaving. It's not your fault." I'm like, I couldn't tell from uh, you know at watching oh, Shailene her Woodley her facial, reaction from yeah, her facial reaction. She I'm felt like, guilty. wait, does she feel guilty? I, I, I can't tell. It doesn't even look like she's concerned that her brother's left. Right. I'm like so, I don't. I don't blame her. I mean, obviously, you know, she's acting. She's got to read the script and do the facial. It, that's on her too. But it's kind of also the direct. It, it's a yeah, co- it's collaborate. It's a collaborative effort. So yeah, um, I, I, I think between her and the director, like that should have they should have watched that uh, in the dailies and been like, no, no, no. I, I need to if I'm supposed to feel guilty and like let's let's do this again. Let's see it a little yeah, bit yeah, more. Yeah, but um, that and then like I said again hopefully there's going to be a little bit more resolve in terms of the forgiveness or maybe, you know, maybe I'm just wrong about this in terms of it feeling underdeveloped uh, in terms of the forgiveness with uh, Tobias and his parents. Maybe he's just not going to forgive them. But since that was such a prevalent theme in the film, I I thought we were going to go a little more towards that route. Um, And I'm not saying that anybody should be forgiving uh, towards their father for beating them or towards their mother for abandoning them. Those are very hard things to forgive. I just thought that uh again that the film would get a little more into it uh than than what we did but sorry and we wouldn't and we wouldn't have a third one without the mom obviously craving the power that the son called even though he went to you know his mom's funeral at six years old and he knew like you're searching for power he could feel that which um but also I think with new directors, like like you were talking about Shailene Woodley's performances in some stakes that we thought like, oh, that that may seem like the reaction may be a little bit different. In my brain, I feel, and I don't know if this director is new or not, but because Shailene had already come from one movie and she already did a great, great job. Phenomenal. That a first. lot of the times when a new director steps into a set with an, an actor that is really well trusted, they've seen on set before, a lot of times they don't actually give a lot of direction, mm. which <laughs> they just kind of go, yeah, I think if, if you trust it, we're good, which I don't always appreciate. And I don't know if that's obviously I wasn't on set. I don't know if that's what yeah. happened. But um, I could see that maybe just going with like whatever she thought in that moment because she came from the first movie of just letting her ride with it. Mm -hmm. And because Neil wasn't the director like he was in the first one, we have some... 
not hiccups, but just a, a different bit of a vibe. Yeah, and that's and just a minor. And it lost a little bit of the reality yeah, that was in just some a, parts. That was just a minor critique. Overall, she was still fantastic in yeah. the film. But that in that moment, it kind of just took me out a little bit. I was like, mm-hmm. wait, you're mentioning that she's feeling guilt? I'm like, I see no panic and concern that right. her brother just, I'm like, I don't feel it at all Yeah, right now. that was like a, a small little thing yeah, in, a, small in a large thing. scheme of yeah. a really great film that was still... A lot of fun for me to watch. Again, I wasn't bored. Um, I love the first one more, but this one still kept me hanging on because I love all the characters. They did a great job casting. They're all very believable, really, really great actors. I think if they hadn't cast who they cast in this, Mm -hmm. the movie would suffer a lot more because everyone in this truly brings everything to the table for each character. And it's not like the dialogue is like, Wow, insanely great. It is it is good, but like each actor really knows how to bring everything that's needed for this specific genre to the table, yeah. which is why I think that this series works so well and why it went to three movies. Yeah. So I'm still excited to watch the third one. Yeah. I'd love to see where the story goes, especially sure. with Naomi now being kind of a villain and the being in power. How's that going to play out with <laughs> yeah. her son, Four? And, um, and, and also, too, what they... Discover beyond the walls as well. Exactly. Yeah. Seeing that new world is going to be really, really exciting to see. So don't forget, do you got to like, comment, oh. share? Oh. Um, I got to read some trivia. Oh, facts. okay. Get your trivia yeah. uh, we'll ready. Just do, we'll, we'll just read do a, a few. We'll read some trivia while he's looking it up. Don't right. forget to. Yeah, do all those to, things. To like and share and comment. So the character of Caleb has a very unorthodox style of running in the movie, particularly near the start. This was a choice made by actor Ansel Elgort, who stated that Shailene Woodley and Theo James are superheroes. Caleb is not. Caleb represents the intellectual side, the guy who isn't physical. And I wanted to make sure that was on screen. I huh. wanted to make sure that made sense. I missed the run. I, I'll need to like well, go yeah, back and we were, look at We were run. so focused on Jack Courtney's yeah. like T-1000, Tom yeah. Cruise-esque run. But yep. yeah, I guess next time we... Uh, this was the first sequel Kate Winslet was ever has ever done. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah because apparently there, w- there wasn't a sequel to Titanic, so that's correct. Um uh, after cutting her hair for the role of Hazel Grace Lancaster for The Fault in Our Stars, Shailene Woodley decided she did not want to wear a wig for Insurgent. In the book, Triss does cut her hair, but not as short as seen in the film. Oh. All right. Well, well, well. All right, I'll read two to three more. Unlike the first film, Insurgent is a very loose adaptation of Veronica Roth's novel, which contains a vastly different plot. Oh, a vastly well, different. Well, let us know in the comments I how would, different yeah, it was. Yeah, let us know because I'd be very interested Yeah. to know. According to Miles Teller, 90% of his scenes, he is bleeding from Triss, beating him up. Yeah, but it's true. Well, yeah, because yeah. she she knifed him on the the uh, on the cheek, and then also bleeding in the nose. And yeah. Then, so yeah, no, that's true. Yeah. All right, I'll read uh, two more, and that's it. Many fans criticize the fact that Triss was able to fire a gun confidently, while in the novel is unable to hold a gun in her hands due to PTSD. Oh. She only fires it once throughout the movie and doesn't even harm anyone with it either. Interesting. Yeah, because we did that's see that PTSD. Big- switch for them to make from the book to the film yeah because we did see that ptsd at the beginning when she was in amity so we did that's a big move to make that really changes a character's outline which is uh okay that's a ballsy move Mm. one last one okay several of the actors completed principal photography on other films while filming this yeah miles teller filmed fant stick Jai Courtney filmed Terminator Genesis and Kate Winslet filmed Triple Nine. And it's funny I mentioned that he's doing the T-1000 run because yeah. that's what he was that's filming Because that's what he was filming. <laughs> yep, yeah, makes so. a lot of sense. Anyways, there's a bunch more facts, but you let us know what the interesting ones are in the comments below. And uh, yeah, can't wait to do the third one. Can't wait. Make sure that you like, you share, you comment. Tell us how great we are. Tell us all, all the things. Just like, how are you? You know, and all the other things too. We love you so much. If you're not on Patreon, we call you super sexy, you know, so just like do it or, 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 or not, but like you should, you should. We love you guys so much and we will see you on the next one. See you guys. Bye.